Hello, welcome to 30 days of Databricks series. In this video, I'm going to walk you through widgets in SQL notebook. But before that, some practicalities, you need to create the cluster and attach the cluster in the notebook, meaning that you need to know something, right? You need to first know how to create the cluster, how to create the notebook and how to attach the cluster, right? For that, please watch my previous videos. The last video was about widgets in Python notebook. It would be beneficial also for you if you watch that video before this. If not, also, yeah, welcome. What we can do is just run the shell here. And by the way, you might be wondering why I'm passing percentage Python sign here, right? Because I'm working in SQL notebook, meaning that as you can see here on the top, there is SQL, right? If you click this, you can see there is Python, Scala and R and SQL, right? The earlier one where I explained widgets in Python notebook, the default was Python. So we didn't have to provide percentage Python there. But here as this is the SQL notebook, if you are writing something related to SQL, meaning the SQL commands, you don't need to provide percentage SQL, right? But this cell, as you can see here, this is not the SQL cell. This is the Python cell, which is also notified here saying that this is the Python shell. So always remember in sql notebook if you want to run the python commands then you need to provide percentage python and then you can write the python's commands right so yeah as you can see here we just want to know what are the different widgets in bricks let's say in this way dbu widgets dot help right so there are four widgets right as you can see here there is text and there is combo box there is multi-select and drop down and if you want to know more in details about this also, what you can do is as mentioned here, dbutils.widgets.help and the method name, right? I'll just show you here. I'll create a new cell here and I will type db. As you can see here, when I write db, it shows me the SQL commands, not the Python commands because I didn't provide the Python here. If I write Python like this, and now if I run db, it will show db utils, meaning the Python commands, right? Enter dot, and I can say widgets dot, and here is the help, and if I pass here, drop down, right? So that is one of the widgets, then it will show me the documentation for that particular uh, widget. Now what I am going to do as in my earlier video, we read the data set and then create widgets in order to manipulate the data out of it, right? Here there is percentage FS. I just want to list the data. Here it says FS, LS, DBFS, data bricks, data sets, flights, meaning that data bricks has already provided some of the data sets for us to work. So that is what I am showing you here. I want to list what are the different data sets. There is this flights delayed dot CSV, right? What you can do is you can create the temporary view or you can directly create the table out of it in order to work. As I have mentioned also here, drop table if exist departure delays one, that was just the example. And you can create the table with these two commands, right? or you can just create the view. How to create the view in SQL? Create or replace temporary view. I'm just giving the name departs or delays using CSV because our file is CSV. And there is the options. We need to provide the path. So this is the path from where I get the path. It is here. The path is here, but we don't need to provide this DBFS colon sign here, right? And the header is true if the CSV file has a header row right? We have it. So I'm just providing this header is true. Infer schema true, meaning that enforce the schema of the CSV file. When I run this cell again, it is going through this particular path and create a temporary view called departs or delays for us, right? Meaning that now we have the view where we can run our SQL queries. That's the reason why I'm creating the view here. Right. As you can see here, I'm saying select all from departure delays, right? If I run this, it will show me the view now. You can see that there is a date, delay, distance, origin and destination. So if you have watched my previous video, this is the data what we get when we read with Python code also. 
right what to do next we need to create the widgets using sql how we can create it as you can see here we need to provide percentage python sign if we want to create the drop down widget with python this is what i showed you in my previous video and it is kind of similar but the syntax is of course the difference so i will show you by creating all the widgets in one cell in this video here is create widget and drop down drop down filter is default msy meaning i'm providing the default value msy choices choices select distinct destination meaning that it will select all the distinct value out of this destination column from the departure delays meaning that the departure delays is this particular table right when i pass this if you if you just see here all the different widgets i'm passing the same thing here except the text one because we don't have anything to select out of it we need to write something there because it's the text box and the name is different so that we know which widget we want to work with so create widget drop down drop down filter create widget combo box combo box filter create widget multi select multi select filter and create widget text it is text filter so when i run this particular shell you will notice that all the widgets will appear on the top of the sql notebook as you can see here there are four different widgets being created combo box filter drop down filter multi select filter and text filter and these are the default values that is being provided right if you go to multi select you can select maybe two or more right and if you go drop down you can select any of these if you go to combo box what is combo box you can type here as well as select but you can do only one here i can just select let's say grb or i can just write here hel right it accepts both of these and the text filter you can just write whatever you want but it's good you write the ones that are in the table right let's just go with b you are you might be wondering what is ron assist commands right if you go to on the top here there is this settings icon if you click this one so here it says on widget change ron assist commands right this is the normal behavior being shown here but i will just show you what happens here right if you click close and if i go here and run select text filter what it will show us so it will show us the bur right so this is how you can select the things from the filter so i am saying here text filter because the text filter has bur and bur but there is nothing related to the ron ss commands right so what that is is because if you have watched my previous video if you change something here then something will be changed when you we get the argument let's run this first and you will understand select all from departs or delays to where destination is equals to get argument text filter meaning that i'm just providing random name if it provides us the answer or not it says table or view not found right just to show you that we need to have the table to run it. now if i go here and run this filter so here it says select all from departure delays where destination equals to get argument text filter right so we want to get the argument text filter and what happens here is before if you see the table we have all the destinations but we filter that just to have with the bur meaning that text filter so if i change this to something else let me see if i change this to msy so as you can see here i changed to msy but nothing happens here right if it was in the python notebook it would have automatically filter this so that is what it is mentioned here run assist command does not work for sql cells you need to run the cells so if i run the cell again here then it will be filtered with the msy right but in the python notebook it is automatically filtered but here we need to run the cell so now you see the results are from just msy so that is the thing why i have written here run assist command does not work for sql cells 
although you can just keep it run assist command here there is no problem with this one but you need to run the shell that is the difference but if you want to run all the things again what you can do go here and click this run notebook right if i click this run notebook and if i close this nothing is happening here until now but what we can do is go here and maybe change b u r so if you see when i change this b u r all the sales started running meaning that not only the ones that is being using the filter because for that it is run assist command right so that we need to run the shell but if we say run notebook in the widgets setting right it will run all the cell as you can see here it went all the way to the beginning and it ran all the cells right and it gets all the results for us and it says command is skipped because this failed here some of the commands failed then it is not going to go through the next one because it just failed here we need to run this again but that's the difference between let me go again here and show you run notebook and the run assist command so which one to go right you might be asking okay you showed me two of these which one to go if you are just experimenting or just running the sales and if you don't want all the sales to run then of course go with the run assist commands that is the default behavior but recommended way is to go with the run notebook so that you don't miss any of the filters and you don't get the wrong data out of it now i hope it is clear and now how to remove all of the, the all of the widgets just run this cell and all the widgets are gone so that's how you can create widgets in the sql notebook okay the previous one was widgets in python notebook this one is widgets in sql notebook so what next in the next video what i will show you is how you can run one notebook from another notebook in the first one i will just show you some print statements how you can run one notebook from another notebook and then i will also show you how you can run one notebook which has the widgets from another notebook thank you for watching and see you in the next video